Hi, fellow Class Kick users. My name is Stacy Perkins, and I'm a fifth grade virtual teacher here in the Elmira City School District. I wanted to share with you a quick vocabulary activity that I used with my students in my virtual classroom. This activity could have been used as a formative assessment or as a self-checking activity. So we were studying the book Promises to Keep written by Sharon Robinson, and we were reading the introduction to the book and in that introduction, there were several vocabulary terms. And these were the vocabulary terms that were identified through the module work that we do through Engage New York here in our district. So the students worked for quite some time and I felt like at that point we needed a break. So with that being said, we talked about what a break looked like in baseball and we talked about the seventh inning stretch and how during the seventh inning stretch, they play take me out to the ball game. The students were able to click on either one of these links. This link brought them to the website for the History Channel where they got to read more about the baseball seventh inning stretch and how it originated. And then over here, they could click on this link and see an actual seventh inning stretch along with um, the song playing. Once the students took their break and finished, we came down here and they were able to manipulate the different baseballs and gloves to match definitions along with words to form matching pairs. So they could do a click and drag activity to form that vocabulary. Once they completed this activity, they came on down here where they had a choice on how to illustrate one of the words up here that they were able to match. They could do that by creating an illustration by drawing and using the tools in Class Kit here on the canvas. Or they could draw it on a separate piece of paper, use the camera and upload it from their computer and place it on the canvas. Or they could draw it on the paper, hold it up, take a picture of themselves and upload it. Or finally, they could also just find a picture online that demonstrated it and also upload that on the canvas. So that's how I use that as a formative assessment, but I also was able to use it as a self-checking assessment later or as activity later. Down at the bottom, you can see that I also have a link that took them to take me out to the ball game answers. So when they clicked on the link, an image came up where it showed them the answers to their vocabulary and their glove matching activity. So as you can see on this slide, I used a lot of clip art. I used links, both to websites for reading, links to YouTube. I used manipulatives along with different clip arts there. I used bitmojis and again, different clip arts there and links to outside sources here for self-checking. So thanks for tuning into my quick video on how I use Class Kick in my virtual classroom. Hope to see all of you soon. And I look forward to looking at some of your ideas. Thanks for sharing.